Good afternoon. We are seeing more sunshine out. Here is a live look in Martinsville with our new College Institute sky cam. Again, we see that sunshine, that haze in the background. It is muggy out there, and that is helping to feel a few thunderstorms that are trying to pop right now. Look at these temperatures flirting with 90 degrees across a bunch of areas. 89 in Lexington, 88 now in Smith Mountain Lake. We are in the middle 80s in Roanoke. That's a touch cooler in Blacksburg at 79. Middle 70s right now in Hot Springs. We're tracking those hit or miss thunderstorms again. Temperatures getting back into the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees across most spots today. We'll be in the low to middle 80s across much of the New River Valley this afternoon. In terms of those storms that are getting going right now, just a few starting to pop north of Lynchburg right along the I-81 corridor, very similar to yesterday. The coverage area was far greater yesterday afternoon as well. Right now we're just seeing a few of those pop up thunderstorms. If you're heading to the game tonight, make sure you're on the look for a few of those scattered thunderstorms. These will be few and far between, very similar to last night. I think the coverage area though a little bit less. Temperatures for the start of the Red Sox game 78 by the first inning. We are in the middle 70s for the fifth inning, still staying in the lower 70s. A very muggy night tonight, even with that northwesterly wind. We'll keep that humidity cranked up. A wide view here of our satellite and radar with the upper level winds overlaid. Yesterday we had very, very slow moving thunderstorms that led to a lot of ponding, some flash flooding across the area. These darker purples where these arrows are moving very, very quickly. That is where our wind speeds are very, very fast, way up where the jet aircraft fly. Notice over our area we have these lighter yellows, lighter blues, much, much slower in that department. So when these storms get going, Mother Nature not really pushing these much. Those winds really aren't allowing those storms to move. So that's why we're going to be watching for the potential for some flooding, not only for today, but over the next couple of days. So we're going to be in a stagnant pattern, and those uh, upper level winds really can't steer these storms out of the area very quickly. In terms of tonight, again, a few uh, pop up thunderstorms still hanging around when the sun goes down. That storm and shower threat go with it, so it will be nice and quiet tonight. Notice those clouds back in play tomorrow, looking towards 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And again, rinse, wash, and repeat with the heating of the day again. We'll get those scattered thunderstorms to develop. Some of those could be on the stronger side, not only for today, but for tomorrow. We are all outlooked in that green color there. The opportunity for severe weather certainly there, although the clouds early on today helping in that department, but an isolated storm or two could turn strong to severe. And especially in the areas that see the rain this afternoon, Patchy fog could develop temperatures again very warm. We are very muggy tonight. We're only falling back into the 60s to right around 70 degrees. Same thing again for tomorrow. Temperatures a touch cooler as we'll see a little bit of extra cloud cover. We're back into the low to middle 60s and we'll have a northeasterly wind trying to pull in some of that cooler air. Relatively speaking, of course, we're still muggy. 83 degrees on our Thursday. Same deal on Friday as scattered thunderstorms continue. A pretty unsettled week coming our way. Same thing heading into our Father's Day weekend. Looks like we'll start to clear things out or at least dry things out once we get into the second half of Monday and especially on Tuesday. Temperatures, though, staying on the mild side.